And now for the starting lineup for Bridges. We have a guard, a senior, number two, Treshawn Hayward. A guard, junior, number five, QJ Young. At the forward position, junior number 11, Kamon Arayo. At the forward position, senior number 20, Xavier Butler. At the center position, junior number 35, Amarion Wilson. Head coach is Coach Brockington. <coughs> And now for your Will Branch Warriors, senior guard position number four, Talon Lee. Senior at the guard position number five, Keith Chisholm. At the forward position number 12, Laron Wright. At the forward position, number 22, Kevin Jenkins. At the forward position, number 10, Greg Gilbert. The Warriors are coached by Coach Jeremiah Faber. From the Whale Branch Warrior Gymnasium, it's WHHI Sports TV, the high school basketball series, guys game of the week. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamon, Jeremy Pope with you. Kevin, welcome back, pal. Hey, buddy. Missed you last week. Good to be back. We are underway as the tip goes to the Whale Branch Warriors in white. They've got it, they're driving inside. Number five, gonna take the shot and not get it to go. That is KJ Chisholm, back the other way. Whale Branch gonna put it up and in. These two teams, very, very similar records as they come in. Whale Branch 15 and nine overall on the year. And Bridges Prep at 16 and four. Whale Branch on a drive, threw it away. As throwing the basketball away is number four, Talon Lee. He throws it away and Whale Branch will retain possession though as it went off a Bridges Prep player. Going inside, not able to get that one to go down is number 22, Kevin Jenkins. We had a foul inside, 7.19 to go, two nothing in favor of Bridges Prep. And going to the line is KJ no, Chisholm. It's just a common foul, but okay. Eric James with a you know nice old swat. Whale Branch 15 and nine overall, nine and two second place in A region seven, seven and five at home, six and three on the road, two and one in neutral environments. They've scored 1,318 points on the year, given up 1,066. Two game winning streak, 54.9 points per game and 44 given up overall. At home, they've scored 52.8 and given up 42.6 at home and also in the neutral environments. And for Bridges Prep, 16 and four, eight and three in region, uh, third place in the region, A region seven, five and one at home, 11 and three on the road, 1,124 points scored, 742 given up, a three game winning streak. They're averaging 56.2 scored, 37.1 given up overall, and they've scored 66.8 on the road and given up 39.9. Two to one, ball loose, and it's picked up by number four, Talon Lee. It's up and Lee's gonna corral it again. Number four getting into the action here a lot early. Gives it off, driving inside, putting that one up is number 10, Gregory Gilbert. He won't get that to go. Rebound for KJ Chisholm. There's a jumper from the outside. Oh, look it! That's a three point play for Laron Wright, number 12. And it's brought to you by Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Let us lead you home. Daniel and Debbie Corn and Company with Court Lifestyle Bros of Charter One Realty. Then at the other end, put that one in, up and in for Bridges Prep. We are tied at four with 6.35 remaining in the opening quarter. Marion Wilson, big buckets. He scored 1,000 points. He's got 615 rebounds in his career as he is looking for even more heading into his senior season. He, like Courtney Campbell, is just a junior, everybody. There goes Whale Branch. They are in white. 
Again with a really impressive 15-9 record. Bridges Prep at 16 and four on the air. Ring around the rim, not gonna fall. And Bridges Prep in the black and blue, putting that one up, looking like the Duke Blue Devils. Put that one up and in on a lay-in on the right side, and it's six to four. Reminder, our presenting sponsor, Summit Services Heating and Air. Your leader in home performance services in the low country, thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI Sports all year long. And it's now 6-6 tied with 5.45 to go in quarter number one. Talon Lee, good luck. Ball loose, it's gonna go back. And that should be a backcourt violation as Wilson was able to get to it. He's big number 35, 5.37 to go, just one foul committed for each team thus far. Practices have been really good for one Darius Brockington of Bridges Prep. An intense fun due to the fact they've got a full team of competitors. Games have been fairly good, a couple of one point losses. The fans felt like there was some tough stuff going on. Never depend on the whistle to dictate the outcome. Take the accountability and keep moving forward, win or lose. The key to the game, be aggressive on defense, communicate on both sides of the ball, no specific players to watch. We study film on the entire program, not just individuals. Even study the coaching staff too in order to see what plays he likes to run, see what they like to run with certain formations. All those things are very important. Players are gonna play, whoever guards them no matter what or who is in front of them. And Amarian Wilson scoring his thousandth career point last Friday on track to have a thousand plus rebounds by his senior year. He is a junior. Eight players on the Bridges Prep roster going to look at various colleges for basketball, including Denmark Tech, which I had never heard of until Larry Jackamot told me about it the other day. Five and a half to go, 6-6 six, six tie. Bridges Prep at the free throw line. Looks like a Tech on that one. Denmark like the country? Yeah, but it's, uh, I think around the Bamberg area. Oh, cool. It's here in the state of South Carolina. Not able to make the free throw there is number 11 for Bridges Prep. That's Arroyo, who is in the starting lineup. Seven to six. Two shots and the ball after they get this lighting issue corrected, a little bit yeah, dark. We, it's not the camera, that's everywhere. And that and that is certainly not Beyonce that turned the lights out as she did in the oh, Super Bowl oh, one oh. time. And the lights are out, now they're back. Baby, when the lights go out. That was Baltimore and San Francisco that uh, a few years back where the lights went out at halftime on CBS this year, Kansas City, San Francisco rematch. History tends to repeat itself. Three fouls for each team, or a three fouls total, I beg your pardon, so far. 7-6 hey. in favor of the visitors, put that one up and down, and it's 9-6 in favor of the visitors from Bridges Prep. Reminder that Chicken Salad Chick is our food sponsor tonight, and timeout sponsor as well. Wow. Leader didn't go for Whale Branch, and it's going back to Prep. Put that one up in, and off. A nice bucket in transition for number 11, Cayman Arroyo. Arroyo is a junior on Brockington's team. Chicken Salad Chick of Bluffton, delicious scratch made Southern style and served from the heart. Here's Whale Branch trying to get an outside jumper. They're down 11-6, that one not gonna go from outside in. Nice rebound, they're working the passing well. Here's a three from the outside, a little bit too strong. Whale Branch in white trying to get the basketball. It's up in the air and picked off by Bridges Prep. And Prep not able to ling that one up and in is KJ Chisholm. I take that back, looking at the wrong roster. My apologies, QJ Young, number five. He had a great game in the matchup last year that we saw between these two teams at the Caffeinasium at Bridges Preparatory High School. It was a bunch of fun. He was wearing a mask back then, wasn't he? Uh, yes, he was, indeed. 11-6 in favor of Bridges Prep on the road. 4-12 to play in the opening quarter. Special thanks to all our guests this year. I'll have the list of that as we go along. Ball loose, turned over. Bridges Prep on defense. Bale Branch can't connect the first time, the second time they do, as I believe that was number 11, Devon Evans, putting that one up and in for the Warriors here at the Warrior Gymnasium, home of the Whale Branch Early College High School Warriors. 11-8, 341 remaining. 
Again, just three fouls total in this first quarter. I love it. They're running the offense. Slowing it down to try to find the open look. Here's Wilson, the 1,000-point scorer, 615 rebounds. Tried to get his own board there off the miss on the right side. It looked like he tried to alley-oop himself there. Didn't get that to go, and it's going back to Whale Branch. That's going to go off front iron, and it's going back the other way as the miss was attempted from Devon Evans, number 11. He gets back across the floor quickly. Wilson on a drive. Wilson turns and couldn't get it to go. It went off, flanking to the right side of the iron. 2.57 to play. Here's Chisholm giving it inside. Great ball rotation. The physicality showing itself here early. That leaner won't go for Talon Lee. 2.43 to go. What's the key here as we head down towards the end of this first quarter? Both teams have to slow down a little bit. I think Prep's doing a pretty good job of that. Certainly looking at this offensive possession. They're running their offense. On the defensive side, I like the way Butler is working off of Wilson on the block. Really forced them to uh, make good choices. Here we go back the other way for, for Branch. See if we can get a look. There's a jumper in and out. Shot's not going down, much like we saw on the Bridges Prep girls' side. 2.16 to go. That's a rejection. And it's going back to Whale Branch. They got a chance to tie this trip down the floor. Three right wing. A little bit off the mark. Ring around the rim. And it's going to be Wilson coming down with the rebound for Prep. They again in the black, blue, and white. Whale Branch in the white. Wow. It looks like the maroon and gold. Ball wow. loose on the floor. And Bridges Prep couldn't connect as Wilson tried to go inside hard. It's going to hit the baseline before a Bridges Prep player could corral it. 148 to go in the quarter. I love watching Amari and Wilson. He really is a high skill player. And for all that didn't go right on that one, there was plenty that did. It was fun to watch it. Just three fouls so far. Some keys for Jeremiah Faber, and we'll be talking about him as the night goes on. Defend the paint, keep Bridges point guard and post players in check. We must match their intensity. Finally, we must win the rebounding on both ends of the floor. The post players and guards going to play and be the keys to whichever team wins this matchup. Stolen away. 138 to go. Bridges on a drive. Got it. Count it. That big bucket makes it 13-8. Bridges prep. QJ Young, nice sequence. Kevin Jenkins averaging 13.5 .5 points per game, 8.4 rebounds per game. Gregory Gilbert averaging a double-double, 14.1 points per game and 14.2 rebounds, 2.1 blocks per game. And Bradford Thompson, 10.4 points per game and 11.4 .4 rebounds per game. Sorry, I'm talking a bit quickly. I like Brad, man. Brad Thompson is a dude. He sure is, no doubt about it. There's a jumper, a little bit off the mark as a prep player getting up slowly off the deck. That is number two, Zaire. Actually, we found a change. Was it Tayshawn Hayward wearing two tonight? That's right. Tayshawn Hayward wearing number two tonight, not number 10. There's a leaner, put that one up and down. And it's 15-8 with 52 seconds remaining in the opening quarter. QJ's. Two, two yeah. fouls for Bridges Prep, one for Whale Branch. Whale Branch just hasn't been able to get the shots to go down as that pass a little bit too strong. Intended for number four, Talon Lee. 41.3 seconds to go in the opening stanza. Prep has been dominant. Absolutely. The AD for Prep is one Brett Macy, and the AD for Whale Branch is Casey Sullivan in her second year. And I think it's about that for Brett Macy as well. 28.8 seconds to play in the opening quarter. Nice catch at the table. You know, they have to be athletes too. Absolutely. It's a team sport. Yes. <laughs> 26 seconds to go. 15-8. Bridges Prep. With a big lead as hitting the deck was nice number job. 10, Gregory Gilbert. And it's 17 8 now as another bucket goes in for Prep. Here's Gilbert trying to get it to the outside. He finds Chisholm. Seven seconds. Chisholm with a nice pass inside. There's Lee. 
Chisholm for three from way downtown. No, that's the end of the first quarter. 17-8, Bridges prep with the lead over Whale Branch and the guys' game of the week. Brought to you by Summit Services. We've got second quarter action on WHHI Sports TV following this. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Melichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamock, Jeremy Pope back with you. The Warriors have an opportunity to win the region for the first time since the 2020-21 season. This as of now in 1A basketball is a matchup of eight versus seven, and it could be the second seed and third seed respectively on who wins this game that is on the line. This is the final game for both teams in the regular season. Second quarter action. Gilbert didn't get that to go. It looked like it was kicked out of bounds. 7.36 to go in the half. We're going to have our first half thoughts coming up at halftime. And we also later will award a player of the game and talk to the winning head coach. All on WHHI Sports TV is driving inside, putting that one up and in on the right side. Beautifully done on a lay-in by Gilbert, number 10. And it's 17 to 10. I think that was Kevin Jenkins. 22. Okay, I thought I saw 10 there. I don't know. There's no replay. Agree to disagree. That we can do. Two as hands on the ball carrier means a foul. Yes, indeed, as QJ Young was there touching it. 7-10 to go in the first half. It's one of those good rules for kids coming up. You can put one hand on the ball handler, but not two. Not at the same time. Davina Coleman is the principal of Whale Branch. Going inside, not able to get that one to go down. And we've got seven minutes to go in the first half, 17-10. BP over WB. Wilson is really imparting his will on a lot of these possessions. No doubt. For Branch, they don't really seem to be settling or, or running their offense, but by contrast, Wilson seems to be able to get multiple shots per possession. Great rebounding, great follow-up. He had a play where he, he didn't get his own rebound, but he kind of looked like Larry Bird. Ring around the rim, put that down for Amari and Wilson, adding to his over 1,000 points for his career. 615 rebounds coming into this game. He will likely surpass the 1,000 mark by the end of his senior year. This is his junior year, and he's got playoffs coming his way. Again, just a matter of where they're seated. Here's a drive, losing the basketball, and it's gonna go out of bounds off Whale Branch. Big chance to come back here for Branch. Can they regain momentum? A big possession defensively. Can they get that ball back? So Lee lost it. They're playing man, so here comes a little bit of flex offense. There's a pop three. That's a little bit off the mark. Whale Branch on defense. Put that one up, lean it up and down as it's 21 to 10, 6.33 remaining in the first half. Let us hear from Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. The Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices, just like KJ Chisholm made a great choice in that shot. Want to thank Fat Babies, our other food sponsor and timeout sponsor this year, Fat Babies of Hilton Head, come by for the pies and sandwiches in a relaxed setting with juice boxes and TVs. Greg Gilbert, bucket. 
Gilbert, six foot six, a senior. QJ Young, Tashawn Hayward, Amari and Wilson, Xavier Butler, Desmond Locke, guys that come out early for practices, and they work on working in progress. We've got a timeout, 21 to 12 in favor of Bridges Prep, 5.56 to go in the first half, back with more of the guys' game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series only on WHHI Sports TV. Hang on, everybody. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. We welcome you back. Big Isaiah Evans coming in. Big Tots for Whale Branch. Six foot eight and well over three bills. He's a big tater. There he is, number 33, right in the middle of the action. And in talking with certainly his head football coach, Jerry Hatcher, he said, I love having that guy as my center right in the middle of the action. Here's Whale Branch down 21 to 12. There he is. He moves Isaiah well. Isaiah Evans, he is nimble like a thimble for being over 300 pounds. He gets a rebound and he gives it off to number five, KJ Chisholm. Here's a drive by Loran Wright. Now with it, Talon Lee. Nice move inside. Kevin Jenkins. Gives it up, up hey. glass, put that down. Beautifully done as Whale Branch is down by a touchdown. Loose ball, Warriors have a chance to get it back and they've got bad numbers for a moment. Here's Talon Lee, they're sticking to him like glue or trying to, more like scotch tape at the moment. Easier to peel off. Mm -hmm. There's a leaner, a little bit off to the left, rebound, big man Evans. There's a three from the outside, well off the mark. Punching it back out and correcting, collecting another rebound and corralling it is Whale Branch. 21-14, they trail. They've got a chance to cut into the deficit from seven. Body inside, rejection! Get that out of here, says Bridges Prep. 21-14, 4.20 to go, first half. Gliding hard and not getting that one to go is Prep. We've got a whistle down inside. Yeah, they're gonna hit the big guy with a foul. I do love watching a 6'8 body at the high school level. Because you remember that basketball really is a ballet. Absolutely. Cedric Weber, 10 years of officiating. Luther Brown, 22. Kyle Lida, 38. That's a total of 70 years officiating. Become an official at highschoolofficials.com. We've got a timeout. 4.17 to go. 21-14. Bridges prep over Whale Branch. And the guys' game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. Only on WHHI Sports TV. More coming up next. I'm Daniel Court. And I'm Debbie Court. And we are Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Some of the buyers and sellers that we encounter naturally experience that fear of change. But we once heard that life truly begins at the end of our comfort zones. So if you're ready to make a change, give us a call and let us lead you home. Twenty-one fourteen, our score. Four seventeen to go. First half. Marcus Walsh, Larry Jackmont, Jeremy Pope, and the great Kevin Libby alongside. Kevin back with us this week after being a little bit under the weather. He has taught me a secret to vocal health. Yeah. And it is throat coat tea. It tastes like licorice. I grew up eating that red licorice candies. My grandpa used to have them all the time. Pap and I would just eat those things till we were practically bowled over with stomach aches. And uh, that, that tastes a lot like that. So that's a, that's a childhood memory. Getting nostalgic as going inside, putting that one up and not getting it to go is number four, Talon Lee, and he's down on the ground, but he's gonna get back up. He's been a big force for Whale Branch so far in this first half, Kev. Oh yeah, I like how he popped himself right up because don't let him tell you basketball is not a contact sport. That's well, one you're going to feel tomorrow. 
But I love the way he responds. Basketball is a lot of this. It's bigs versus kids that aren't big. A kid that's not as big can still be just as effective. Here's the most efficient place to score, the free throw line. 21-14, 4-11 to go, first half. Reminder, Kevin and I with our first half thoughts coming up. Sports Addiction is your bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over 20 years. BP led after one quarter of play. That one didn't quite go. And it's tipped up and gonna go out of bounds. Wanna give a quick shout out to offensive coordinator of Hampton County, formerly the head coach of John Paul II, the Golden Warriors in Hampton County, of course, the Hurricanes. The offensive coordinator, Chris Myers, recently received his doctorate of education in sport management. Coach, congratulations. And uh, that's amazing. Chris Myers, one of the really good guys here in the Loco coaching football and Hampton County with a whale of a year. Yeah. Or rather a hurricane of a year because <laughs> they blew through everybody. They were outstanding as that leader goes. And it's 23 to 15 with 340 to go in the first half. We have our first staff docs coming up on the halftime report here shortly on WHHI Sports TV. The guys game of the week of the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. Get that out of here. It's going inside to put one up and down where the Warriors of Whale Branch. It's going to go back to them off that missed opportunity and a foul goes inside. 328 to go in the first half. Well, Isaiah's fun to watch. I like that pass. He is so fun. Big momentum shift here. If they can own this end of this quarter, they might be able to seal this thing up and get Whale Branch feeling like they might not be able to come back by the half. 23-15, to go in the first half. Bridges prep on a drive. There's Hayward, kicking it around. That shot won't go. And the rebound to Bridges, to a Whale Branch rather. Lean that one up and in. And it's 23-17, 2.50 to play. Big, big shift. So Hayward had the bucket or opportunity moments ago. Here's Wilson. I think he's got to take over, Kev. There's a high pass inside and against Evans. That shot missed. Evans gets the rebound. Isaiah gives it off and a long pass. Easy land on the left side. Bridges prep couldn't contain that one, and now the deficit is four at 23-19. What a big sequence this has been. It's a game. 23-19, 2 10 to play. Thinking about a three, taking a three. And Bridges couldn't connect. Going across the floor is KJ Chisholm. Chisholm alone. Trying to get it off glass. No. Rebound. Put back no. As going strong to the hole was number 22. Well done there for Kevin Jenkins. And Jenkins heads to the free throw line to shoot a pair. 23-19 with 157 remaining in the quarter. Let's hear from Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth. The Low Country Alliance for Healthy Youth, uniting the community to promote positive choices. They are doing that indeed. Reminder, March 9th and 10th, the start time, 8 o'clock till whenever. March Madness going on. 50-50 raffle admission, $10 per day. 15 for both days when paid in advance. Games of basketball inside and outside. This is located at the Boys and Girls Club of Bluffton at 100 H.E. McCracken Circle, Bluffton, South Carolina, 29910. The great Tony Red Bruin going to be in charge of that on March 9th and 10th. He said it was so good last year that he decided to do two days. There's a three from the outside. No. Rebound and big Isaiah Evans going to come down with it. Tony, of course, filled, filled in for you and did a great job on the guys game a couple of weeks ago between Hilton Head and Bluffton. We've got some contact down inside and a whistle with 90 seconds remaining in a 23-20 lead for Bridges Prep with Whale Branch down three and going to the line for two as Kevin Jenkins will do that for the Warriors. 
Marcus, you called the matchup. Marion Wilson's been neutralized since Isaiah Evans has come on the floor. He is not attacking the basket like he was, by contrast. We are seeing some transition basketball, and taking over in that transition is this stud, Kevin Jenkins. No doubt about that. 23-21 as Jenkins got the first to go. Second, a little bit off the mark as it went around the iron, and the iron was unkind. There's a leaner with 124 to go. It ended up well short. Nice rebound. Put that one up. Well off the mark to the right. Rebound. Chance for Bridges Prep. Can they say no? Tip drill from Kevin Jenkins, and it goes back to Bridges Prep in black. 108 remaining first half. Kevin and I with our first half thoughts coming up here shortly. You see with Evans inside the paint, Amari Wilson's just not operating like he was earlier. 17-8, Bridges Prep led at the end of one, and that misfires. Whale Branch with a chance to tie or take the lead, drive it inside hard. Offensive. Was Whale Branch, and it's an offensive foul. It's gonna go back the other way to Bridges Prep. Don't ever let someone tell you basketball is not a contact sport. That, my friend, is what it looks like to win. Absolutely. Bridges Prep hanging on to the one possession lead by two, 23-21 with 49.4 seconds to go. Three fouls each for both teams here in the first half. 45 seconds to go. What's a key, Kev? Desmond Locke, the kid's a stud. 40 seconds to go. Here go the Buccaneers of Bridges Prep. There's a three way off the mark, and the rebound goes to Jenkins. Stolen away. Leader rattles home as that goes down for number 11. Came in Arroyo, 21 seconds to go, four point game. Here's Chisholm. And Hayward working on him. He got picked off mid floor. Going inside was Jenkins. He couldn't get that to go. He falls on his midsection. 11 seconds to go. And Jenkins, who's been making his home near the free throw line, standing there now, but it's going to be Whale Branch basketball. No shooting foul there. 11 seconds left, 25 21. Bridges Pep with the lead. Bridges Prep again coming in with a very good 16 and 4 record and very good conference play. Uh, once they get the floor cleaned up, it's a chance for a set play. So we'll see some coaching here at the last regular season game of the year. 11 seconds to go. Three fouls each for both teams. 25-21 in favor of Bridges Prep. Bale Branch with the basketball. Inbound pass. They're looking perimeter. Eight seconds left. Driving inside and putting it up. Not able to get it to go is Chisholm. Nice rebound. Turnaround jumper. Right will miss. And that'll end the first half. 25-21, Bridges Prep with the lead at the break. We've got our halftime report and our first half thoughts next. It's the guys game of the week of the Summit Services High School Basketball Series only on WHHI Sports TV. Halftime report next. Did you know your brain doesn't fully develop until your mid-20s? Substance use harms brain development, causes mental health disorders, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects reaction time, concentration, and decision making. Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. Pain medication and substance use increases mental health disorders and leads to addiction. All of these substances negatively affect brain development and function. Don't let your team down. Welcome into the halftime report here of the Summit Services High School Basketball Series, the guys' game of the week. Bridges Prep with the lead 25-21. They led 17-8 at the end of the first quarter. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Jeremy Pope, Larry Giacomo with you. And Kevin, your thoughts on the first half of really good action here in this rivalry. It's the rivalry, baby. It's fun. Uh, it's what we expected. So I really thought that there was a chance for Prep to pull away and just change the, the dimensions of the game. Branch came right back. They're home. It's the rivalry game. Look out for them. 
We saw the 83-70 matchup a year ago. Your keys to the second half on both sides and then a key player to watch for both teams heading into the second half. Second half, I'm going to be looking for number 23, Brad Thompson. He was a beast man last year, looked like LeBron James. What I liked this first half was the coaching. So we saw Evans, six foot eight, coming into the game and totally disrupt the way Amari and Wilson was really managing the prep offense. Yeah. I'm delighted to see who's going to come along for prep that can hit a made bucket. Prep's going to need somebody that can do some spot shooting so long as Evans is taking away the inside. We'll see how long the big boy can play because you get tired with that body in a basketball court. But he's got a D1 left tackle body. And he's taking away the inside, talking about Evans. So I want to see how the block play goes going forward. Again, for prep, you got to find yourself a shooter. Who is that? I don't know. I mean, I, th I think that uh, they have a lot of different uh, players flexing around. It's mostly going to be who, honestly, amongst their teammates can get a screen. If you can get that back screen and get yourself open, you're in good shape. But it takes two to tango, baby. You need somebody that knows how to run your offense. No question about it. We've got a good one here at the Whale Branch Warrior Gymnasium. They trail 25-21 at the half. We've got second half action of the Guys Game of the Week of the Summit Services High School Basketball Series only on WHHI Sports TV right after these messages. Hang on, everybody. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Hey y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. We welcome you back to the second half. I'll say that again, we welcome you back to the second half of this matchup between Whale Branch and Bridges Prep, only on the Summit Services High School Basketball Game of the Week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. It's the guys' game of the week on WHHI Sports TV. Marcus Walsh, along with Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, and Jeremy Pope with you. Whale Branch trails 25-21. They start the second half with possession. A missed shot at second chance opportunity, blocked. Get that out of here, Rejection City. I want to be invited to that block party. And it's 25-21 as Bridges Prep goes across the floor. Here, leaning that one in, and beautifully done, might I add, for number five, QJ Young, to make it 27-21. And there goes Whale Branch. They turn the ball right over as Arroyo gets the steal, and he's going to work it across the floor. Wilson, eight points. Arroyo, five. Young, six. And Butler, four for Bridges Prep. Right with 11. Jenkins with five. And Gilbert with two for Whale Branch in that first half. Butler with two fouls in the first half as well. Gilbert, nice steal. There's a drive. Put that one up. Didn't get it to go for number four. That was awfully close. For Talon Lee, who has definitely been a big part of this game so far, despite Whale Branch being down six here at home, he's going to the line for a pair. The fans love a good broken ankle. Moreover, I've seen this kid's name on shirts all across this gym. He appears to be a fan favorite, a senior. Twenty-seven, twenty-one, six fifty-six to go, third quarter. I'm not sure if it's pronounced Talon or Talon, but this kid's sharp, like a bird. Yes, indeed, like Talons. Yes, very good. He got it. 27-22. The first matchup was neck and neck of these two teams this season. Again, we saw the 83-70 matchup last year. Loose ball. Bridges prep going deep down the floor. That was in the Caffeinasium. And it's going to go back the other way as Preps got it. Prep going inside. They lost it. Actually, Preps has it now. Missed opportunity as Hayward trying to throw it off somebody. And 
That's successful, getting it around. Arroyo, three ball, in and out. And the rebound goes to Whale Branch. Whale Branch and White gonna take it across the floor, down by five. They're looking at a three, right wing, a little bit too strong. And coming down with the rebound are the Buccaneers of Bridges Prep. Bridges Prep was a loser 64-53 back in November as that shot goes up and in to make it 29-22 with under six minutes to go in the quarter. I like Zaire Nelson. Oh, I'm sorry, two we said was Hayward, but uh, yeah, Tayshawn, nice play. 60-59 was the final score of the second matchup, and that was another Whale Branch win. That was back on January the 22nd. So this is the third time these two teams have met. Whale Branch with a couple of big wins and close wins at that. 5.49 to go in the quarter. And a reminder that Summit Services Heating and Air is your leader in home performance services in the low country, thanks to Summit Services for supporting WHHI Sports all year long. And also Court Lifestyle Pros at Charter One Realty, our three-point play sponsor. Let us lead you home. The call there was a kickball. Big turnover. There's a clock, oh. get that out of here! Big time rejection! Whale Branch couldn't corral the opposition's chance there, and Bridges Prep misses at the other end as they were able to corral the rejection. Here's Whale Branch, three-pointer, right side, a little bit off the mark, and the rebound goes to Bridges Prep. They've got numbers, going inside, putting that one up, and it is to Sean Hayward to make a 31-22 with 5.15 remaining in the third quarter. He's having a game. I want to thank some of our guys of the WHHI staff here giving us basketball, football, everything else all year long. There's a three well off the mark from right. Second chance opportunity. No, Bridges Prep goes across the floor. We'll start off with our remote operations producer as that shot inside doesn't go down. Larry Jackamot, Jeremy Pope, the WHHI lead production coordinator. Zach Washburn, the director of business development with Burn Media. Certainly want to thank all these guys. Been doing these games for many years in both football and basketball. Love working with them. Daniel Court, we had him on during the Hilton Head Prep, Hilton Head Christian Academy game in the second quarter. He's my color commentator and partner for football. And then Bob Stevens, news anchor and on-air personality. Kev, I want to thank you, my guy. Appreciate everything that you've done for us all year long, for sure. And then Wayne Morris, the COO of Burn Media and former GM of WHHI Sports and WHHI TV. And then of course we've got Joe Keith, who does some work for us as well in and away from the studio. And certainly Dave Stribling, the CFO of Burn Media and the CEO of Burn Media, John Byrne. 4.38 to go in the quarter, 32-22. That's a little bit off the mark. Whale Branch going to grab the basketball. Big possession. Ring around the rim, not going to go down. And Wilson going to get the inbound pass. He's going to take it, drive it, put it up, get his own board off the miss, and lose it. There's a long pass numbers for Whale Branch. Turnaround, jumper, no. Attempted by Wright, and it's going back the other way to Whale Branch. Going inside, putting that one up for Bridges Prep was Tashawn Hayward, number two. He hits the deck hard, does Hayward. 32-22, 4.06 to play, just three fouls so far here in the third quarter. One for the visitors leading by 10 in Bridges Prep, and two for the home team, Whale Branch, as Hayward will go to the line to shoot a pair. That was my buddy Rich who got the ball on that one. He's in the far side in the blue sweatshirt taking pictures for prep. We've got a timeout with 4.06 to go in the third. 32-22, Bridges Prep over Whale Branch and the guys game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series only on WHHI Sports TV. More coming up next. Life is full of choices and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive-through. And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. 
Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. We welcome you back to Whale Branch and the Whale Branch Warriors Gymnasium. Deshaun Hayward at the line, 406 to go, 32-22. And quite possibly the announcer's jinx as he missed the free throw. Yeah, that comes with the territory. Wilbert Bryant, the assistant head coach for Whale Branch, formerly head coach and one of the mentors of one LaToya Mack. And the ladies with a big 58-20 win earlier in their matchup against Bridges Prep to go to 7-16 on the year. The ladies of Bridges Prep fall their record at 4-12, nice. I do believe. Nice move inside. Put that one up and in. That's a big guy. I believe that was Evans, right? 32? I got oh. Eric James, number 20, on the finish after that nice look. Okay. This, the, the pass was the brilliance. This is a matchup of 8-7, 1-8. Top 10. Playoffs looking at two and three seeds. Whoever wins this one is a very good possibility. Driving inside, there's Wilson. Didn't get it to go. Second chance off his rebound, no. And the ball loose on the floor. The call is a push, so it's gonna be Whale Branch's basketball. Branch to get back in here, eight points. You gotta run the offense. You need a bucket right now. Big difference between a six point game off a bucket and a 10 point game off a miss. Gary McCullough, the CEO of Bridges Prep. Caroline Lovell is the principal. Actually, check that. She's the chief operations officer, the COO. Daniel Tuman, grades 9 through 12 principal. Assistant principal Ashley Reed, grades 9 through 12. And then grades K through 8. Jeremiah Young, the principal of those folks. Valerie Bell, principal, grades 6 through 8. Brett Macy, 4 through 5, and AD as well. Bridget Holker, grades K through 3. Director of Finance and Operations oh, is Jessica Moore. Holy mackerel, Andy! 32-24, going inside. Rejection, going back the other way. This is all alone. And the land doesn't go. We've got a little bit of physicality going on. Bodies are hitting the floor. 2.47 to go in the third. 32-24 in favor of Bridges Prep on the road. They are 0-2 so far this year in this rivalry. They have the great record, as does Whale Branch, but they're looking for a win, and right now, Kev, they lead by eight. They're in good shape, but the biggest thing is going to be, can Whale Branch find some offense? No question about that. 2.40 to go in the quarter. You can become physically fit, make new friends, become a positive influence in a young person's life, Stay involved in a game that you love or learn something about a game you didn't know about. Earn extra income, learn more about a sport or game you love and give back to the community. These are all benefits of becoming an official. Highschoolofficials.com, make the right call. Become a high school official, be the difference maker your community needs. High school graduation shouldn't have to end your involvement with high school athletics. You can become an official by joining a local school's association of officials sanctioned by the South Carolina High School League. Highschoolofficials.com. Want to thank Carissa over at the National Federation of High Schools and all the fine work that they do. Jerome Singleton with the High School League and Skiza under Mike Fanning and company. Great organizations and really good people working hard to help keep sports and extracurriculars in the schools here in South Carolina and beyond. 155 remaining, three fouls for the visitors, two for the home team. Whale Branch missing a shot there. Turnaround, rejection. 148 to go in the quarter. Myron Wilson makes such a difference on the block, especially with Evans on the bench. So they gotta find a bucket here. Uh, I'd like to see him run a play. Ridgeland Hardyville's Jerome Fa uh, Jeremiah Faber, formerly of Ridgeland Hardyville, of course, the head coach for Whale Branch, inducted into the high school or into the South Carolina, excuse me, the South Carolina Basketball Hall of Fame. Legendary Jasper County and Ridgeland Hardyville boys basketball coach, and he made his return to the hardwood this year. He compiled a record of 560 and 265 in 30 plus years of coaching. He's the new play. coach here at Whale Branch. And he won three lower state titles, advanced to the state championship game in 2016, 18, and 19. I got to call a doubleheader of action between Richland Hardyville and 
Battery Creek back, I believe, in 2018. He was the head coach of the guys' team, and certainly the head coach of the ladies' team from Battery Creek was Sarah Hayes back then. Jaguars captured 11 regional titles. When Faber was at the helm, he takes over for Antoine Wade, who accepted the head coach job at Midland Valley last season. Whale Branch finished at 17 and seven. They were second in A Region seven a year ago. They look to have another great run in the postseason this season as they come in with that really strong record so far on the year of 15 and nine. Going inside, not able to get it to go. And again, the winner of this game could very well get the two seed and the loser three as it's eight at seven in 1A in the top 10. I always say the most efficient place to score is the free throw line. Greg Gilbert just took this from what could have been a double digit deficit going the other way, but no, two consecutive possessions with quality shots. Here he is at the line. 32-26. He fires and misses. You know why you practice free throws at the end of your cardio at the end of practice? It's a good cool down. It is a little bit easier than sprinting, but the biggest reason is the most important free throw shots you take, you take at the end of the game when you're tired. That's a very good point. And a lot of times practice can end early if you make the free throws. I know, I was a trainer for my high school team. Otherwise, you just keep on running until somebody right. makes it. Gilbert, got it. And it's 32 to 27. 103 to go in the third. Bridges with the lead inside a minute. Reminder, chicken salad chick, delicious scratch made Southern style served from the heart. They're our sponsor for tonight's game with timeouts and they fed us. We appreciate that. And Fat Babies fed us as well this year and it was a timeout sponsor. Fat Babies of Hilton Head come by for the pies and sandwiches in a relaxed setting with the jukebox and televisions as Bridges prep. With the five point lead, 30 seconds left, we had a whistle, the clock's still running now, it stops at 28.2. The ball rotation and whatnot, I was talking certainly before the girls game with Coach Davis and I said, I love good, crisp, clean basketball. Ball rotation, you know, sharp shooting, really good passing and, and really good screens and all of it. The fundamentals, they're obviously very pivotal and, and you would know having, having played the game a little bit yourself back in the day. If I ever did anything well, it was possess the ball. Defense and rebounding. You can't score if you don't have the ball. 25 seconds remaining in the third quarter. 32-27, Bridges Prep still with a lead over Whale Branch here at the Whale Branch Early College High School Gymnasium. Home of the Warriors. 12 seconds left. Five fouls for the visitors from Bridges Prep and Black. Three from the home team in white, Whale Branch. Nice feet inside, and the finish. One second left, 34-27, there's a heave, and oh, it hit the oh. front of the rim! That would have been a heck of a three, but it's the end of three. 34-27, Bridges prep over Whale Branch, fourth quarter, it's the money quarter of the guys' game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series on WHHI Sports TV, next. Did you know your brain doesn't fully develop until your mid-20s? Substance use harms brain development, causes mental health disorders, and leads to addiction. E-cigarettes negatively affect oxygen supply, endurance, and attention. Marijuana affects reaction time, concentration, and decision making. Alcohol harms endurance, judgment, and complex motor skills. Pain medication and substance use increases mental health disorders and leads to addiction. All of these substances negatively affect brain development and function. Don't let your team down. We welcome you back. It's the fourth quarter, the money quarter, 34-27. Bridges prep with the lead. 
Coach Brockington had a big key for Bridges Prep. Be aggressive on defense, communicate with both sides of the ball. And who's the leader and most aggressive on the court with communication? Amari and Wilson is the leader, but the best communicator is Lorenzo Moyd. Oh, put that down! All of those, that's a three-point play via Court Wedge style throws of Charter One Realty. Let us lead you home. Heck of a shot to start this quarter, Kevin. Big shot, money shot. Reminder that Sports Addiction is your bike, sports, and fitness equipment store for over 20 years. Sports Addiction. And that put back will go to make it 36-30 with 7-11 remaining in the ball game. Hang on, everybody. Buckle your chin straps. Tighten up those seat belts. We are in for a whale of a fourth quarter, I have a feeling. Speaking of whale, here's Whale Branch. They're going on the inside on a drive. Down by six. Turnaround jumper left short. Second chance, no. Second and third chance, no. Whale Branch still with it. Put that up. Didn't get it to go or did it? It, it did, did go. Fourth time's a charm. It hit the strings so silky smooth that it looked like it missed, but it went down and it's 36-32. Greg Gilbert got there. Gilbert with that one, that three missed on the Whale Branch defensive side. Bridges Prep missed it offensively. It's going back to Whale Branch. What's well, a key for them down four here heading into this fourth quarter, Kev? Uh, possession and rebounding, just like that one from LaRon Wright. And that one misfired, working near the baseline also. Number 10, Gilbert touching at that time on the offensive possession, 6.15 to go in regulation, 36-32. Myron Wilson walking down court, working on his shoulder. I don't know if he's uh, nursing an injury there, but. And we've got a Whale Branch player that's cramping up as well. The boys are working. And now a couple of players heading back towards the baseline. Play will continue as the Whale Branch player is getting assisted near the bench. You know, 6.14 yeah. to go. Now a whistle and a timeout, maybe. Hayward is going to throw the ball in. 6.10 to play. And they're calling a foul, I do believe. What? What happened there, Kev? I think it was just an improper inbound, and here we go with the proper one, running the clock. Six minutes for the rest of your lives. It's the rivalry game. 6.03 to play. Here go the Buccaneers of Bridges Prep. They lead 36-32. There's a leader, smooth like butter. 38-32, 5.50 to go. Driving inside, trying to put this one up is Gilbert, not gonna get it to go. And coming down with the rebound is Bridges wow. Prep. Oh, goaltending. Big yep. time. Good call. How about that? That was Wilson on the rebound, I do believe. 5.30 to play, 40 to 32 in favor that's, of That's one where I wish we had replay. Bridges Prep. That was cool. Above the rim basketball, always fun. Eight points, five and a half minutes. Here you go, Branch, it's your time. 5.29 to go, Whale Branch down eight. They've got the basketball, they're going in the backcourt now, cross court into the front court. Rest in peace, Joe Tate, one of the best to ever do basketball. He did radio by himself, that's hard. As that misfires on the Whale Branch side, offensively taking it into the front court, this bridge is prepping it, stolen away. Whale Branch with it, they got a chance to cut the deficit. Three, too strong on the right side from the corner. Battling for the possession was Gregory Gilbert and a couple of big time Bridges Prep Buccaneers near Gilbert to try to battle it. We've got a stoppage with 501. So if you're struggling to recover eight points across five minutes, it's another way of saying you gotta score two points a minute here. You gotta win every possession. No shot clock in high school basketball. No question about that. It is pivotal. Let's hear from Superior Services. Superior Services, make the superior choice. Here's a drive inside. Didn't get that to go. It's going to go back to Bridges Prep on an opportunity to extend their lead from eight. No urgency. That was a backbreaker. Good timeout. Very good timeout. As touching the basketball there was where the uh, Bridges Prep Buccaneers, 4.40 to go, timeout, 40 to 32. Bridges Prep with the lead. It's the guys' game of the week of the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. 
We'll take this time out. Be back after this on WHHI Sports TV next. I'm Daniel Court. And I'm Debbie Court. And we are Court Lifestyle Pros of Charter One Realty. Some of the buyers and sellers that we encounter naturally experience that fear of change. But we once heard that life truly begins at the end of our comfort zones. So if you're ready to make a change, give us a call and let us lead you home. Four forty to go. 40-32 in favor of Bridges Prep. Fourth quarter, Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, Larry Jackamont, Jeremy Pope with our final quarter of the year. We certainly want to thank Coach Daniel Godson. There's a three. Oh, bucket! That's a huge three from the right side, making it 43-32. Thanks to Coach Daniel Godson, Lisa Richardson, Tony Bruin. That's Tony Red Bruin. Certainly as well, Casey Sullivan and Daniel Court for joining us for this action. And I almost forgot the great Jerry Faulkner. Thanks to all those folks for joining us on WHHI Sports as our guests all year long for these games of the week, girls and guys in high school basketball. It's been a lot of fun, no question about it. And I want to thank Larry Jackamot too, because he served as guest analyst for a quarter of the girls game a week and a half ago and did a great job. He said it was just the second time that he's been a color commentator. Learned a lot about his career and, and uh, what he's been able to do all around many areas of the country. He's been great and doing it a long time. We certainly appreciate his help for sure. 43-32. Whale Branch trails. Bridges Prep trying to get a second chance or a third chance opportunity. It's going to hit the baseline, go out of bounds, and a Bridges Prep player is going to be getting up slowly with 3.57 to go. Six fouls in the quarter or in the half. Three for each team. Florence Center to host the SCHSL 2024 Boys and Girls Basketball Upper State, Lower State, and State Finals. Well, they got that lucky there. Goes down. Yeah. Not a good possession. They got lucky to get a bucket. They need the ball back. 43-34. Previously, the Florence Center had hosted the Lower State Tournament. That's stolen away. Going inside. Off a pass. Missing the shot was number 10, Gregory Gilbert. Ball loose. Corralling the basketball was Devon Evans on that offensive possession as well. Here's Whale Branch and Bridges prepping a scrum. Legs are going about. We've got a little bit of hot and heavy action going on here. Excited to have the Upper State Finals, Lower State Finals, and State Finals at the centralized location, said South Carolina High School League Commissioner Dr. Jerome Singleton. Having the games in one location will not only provide a different experience for the teams involved, but it will give fans a chance to attend several games during the seven days. Officials are needed. Highschoolofficials.com for more information. There you see Darius Brockington, the head coach of Bridges Prep. And Bridges just, Prep getting worn. Just a coaching point, Marcus. If ever you have an issue with the official, address it through your captain. Don't ever address the official. Let your coach know what you want. Tell your captain what you want. Let them interact with the official. Because the officials will listen to you. You just got to do it the right way. Bridges Prep against 16 and 4 on the year, 15 and 9 for Whale Branch. Whale Branch 9 and 2 in region play. They're the number seven team in 1A in the top 10. Bridges, the number eight team. In 1A in the top 10 at eight and three. The winner could be second in the playoffs, the loser third. We'll find out soon. So they're running four corners, which is your clock killer. North Carolina. Yeah. Dean yeah. Smith. That's how you call it out typically. Cedric Weber, Luther Brown, Kyle Lida, our officials. Highschoolofficials.com. Learn more. Get more information on how you can become an official today. Nine points, three possession game, gotta have the ball. Got a pressure inside five feet. 3.15 to go. Thank an official today for their service as well. They do a great job making sure these games can be played and stolen away. Bridges prep with a 43-34 lead. 3.04 remaining. Here's Hayward. Deshaun Hayward has been pretty good, sneakily good. There's a leaner off a beautiful pass from Hayward. Wilson gets a rebound. Didn't get it to go, trying again. Bridges Prep couldn't corral it a third time, and it's going back to Whale Bridge. 
They're down 43-34 and they need to hurry. Three ball from near the top of the key off to the left. Rebound is gonna be Bridges Pritt and it's Hayward throwing it on in. You got a foul. Absolutely, Wilson gonna feed it over. Yeah, Whale Branch has to foul and they have to foul quickly. We've got a stoppage, 2.28 to go. Timeout, Bridges Prep. We'll take it with them, be right back. 34 points for Whale Branch. They trail 43-34 to Bridges Prep. 2.28 left in the fourth, the guys game of the week in the Summit Services High School Basketball Series. WHHI Sports TV back with more next. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Ten seconds to get across the half court. And Five they seconds. Do. Five seconds close to guard while dribbling. Here's a nice pass. New five seconds once he starts Here's dribbling. Young. Wilson giving it off to Hayward. Branch has got to figure this out. What's the strategy? Hayward trying to get to the outside. Trying to make something happen and sticking to Hayward like glue is Chisholm. He gives it off finally inside and gliding inside, not able to make a play is Malachi Abney. And a Whale Branch player is down, getting back up without much trouble is Talon Lee. So 151. They got to travel, the unforced error. Right will inbound. He inbounds and has the basketball now, and we've got a whistle, 143 to go. Timeout. We're going to take it, 43-34. Back with more after this on WHHI Sports TV, the guys' game of the week. Hey, y'all, come check us out. Offering bicycle sales, bicycle service, and bicycle rentals for the low country. We offer all types of bikes for the beach, road, or trails. There's also trikes and recumbents along with home and commercial grade fitness equipment. We also provide other outdoor fitness equipment for pickleball, swimming, running, and tennis. Check out our two locations to serve you. Sports Addiction at 200 Okatee Village in the Okatee Shopping Center and for Bluffton Old Town Bike Barn at 28 Dr. Mellichamp Drive in the Promenade in Old Town Bluffton. 143 to go in regulation. 43-34, Whale Branch trailing. They trailed 17-8 at the end of one, 25-21 at the end of two, 34-27 at the end of three, and they're down 43-34 as Bridges Prep looks for the first win against Whale Branch this season in three meetings, and to go to 15, check that, 17-4 on the year, and Whale Branch, if they can't come back, will fall to 15 and 10. And both teams will be 9 and 3 in region play. Ball loose, Whale Branch has it. There's a three. A little bit too strong off back iron. 111 left in this one. Bridges prep with a 43-34 lead. Our postgame show coming up. We'll talk to Darius Brockington and the player of the game. Working it inside. And now working outside in is Hayward. And it looked like he touched the baseline with 44 seconds left, 45.3. Check that, it was at 46 in a running clock for a second or so. Yep, out of bounds. Marcus, you gotta stay within five feet of these guys if you wanna get the close to guarded call. It gets reset every time you get outside of that range. Right. There's a long pass. Whale Branch had a chance to go inside, make something happen. And touching the basketball there, I believe, was Gregory Gilbert, number 10. Yep, foul on the Marion Wilson. It's a common foul. It's gonna get in inbounded from the baseline. Yeah. 
43-34, 41 point nine to play in this one. You need three shots and they all gotta go in and they gotta be threes. Whale Branch is gonna fall to 15 and 10 and Bridges Prep is gonna improve their record to 17 and four, 37.6 to go, 43-36, timeout. We'll be back with the guys game of the week brought to you by Summit Services on WHHI Sports TV. Life is full of choices, and the choices we make directly affect our quality of life. Our day is much easier when we don't hit the snooze alarm 10 times and show up late for work. We feel better when we eat a well-balanced meal versus running through the drive through And when it comes to your comfort at home or in the workplace, the result of hiring a fly-by-night repair guy or award-winning professional is night or day. Life is full of choices. For your home, for your family, for your environment. Make the superior choice. Call Superior today. Got some quick numbers. Bridges averaging 45.7 points per game. Defensive rebounds 8.6. Offensive rebounds 6.6. 23.6 rebounds per game and 11 assists, seven steals, 5.7 blocks. Larry Jackman just handed me these stats. So they're about to their average right now at 43. I was going off the max prep stats with these teams, of course. 43-36, 28.4 to play in this one and a little bit more chippiness going on. Yeah, it's over. Uh, Prep's gonna win it's their first time in three games, so they're due. It's kinda, kinda fitting that we're seeing physical play, especially in the guys game leading up to that Super Bowl that we're gonna see Sunday. Everybody knows everybody. You gotta, you have, I actually know your pick, but you wanna call out your, your Chiefs over these uh, I'm, 49ers? I'm gonna go Chiefs close. I'm thinking like 20, 826 or something. We've got a timeout, 27 seconds to go. 4336, back to wrap it up next. Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653. Com. 27 seconds remaining in the ball game. 43-36. Bridges prep. Moments away from the win. The inbound pass, ball loose. Here's Whale Branch. And now stolen away. And a stoppage with 16.3. Yep, it's a travel, so Whale Branch will get to see him pop a three here. Hopefully they get a good look. Certainly a little different than that 83-70 game we saw earlier. A lot less scoring. Coach Brockington from Florence, South Carolina, nine years coaching, wants to be a Division I head coach, and he's well on his way. That one a little bit off the mark, and six and a half seconds to go. I'm really impressed with him, certainly, in the second year that we've seen him. I've just been so long since I heard someone that wants to be a college coach in the era of NIL. That's a good point, too. He's still got that goal. He's still got that dream. Go for it, coach. Whoa. An Aaron phone hit our desk. That was the whoa that you just heard from me. Six and a half seconds to go. 43-37. Bridges Prep going to try to guard these free throws. Just three fouls in the second half. Two for Whale Branch, one for Bridges Prep. Put it down, nothing but net. 43-38, six and a half seconds to go. Whale Branch on defense, Prep still with the basketball. One second left and they're gonna whistle this one out as QJ Young will wrap it up with it in his hands. The final score, 43-38, Bridges Prep. It proves to 17 and four. Whale Branch falls to 15 and 10. We've got the post game show next on WHHI Sports TV. Hang on, everybody! Have you joined the Express Comfort Club from Summit Services Heating and Air? It's the ultimate way to keep your cool. Membership is free and includes discounts on routine maintenance, 15% discount on all repairs, three-year parts and labor warranty, no overtime charges, plus other benefits. Your comfort is just a call away. To sign up for Express Comfort Club, call 843-836-2653.
www.bridgespremises.com. 43-37, the final score with Bridges Prep beating Whale Branch for the first time this year in three matchups. Marcus Walsh, Kevin Libby, and the winners from Bridges Prep with me. Coach Darius Brockington, what did you see out of your guys today that impressed you so much, finally able to get a victory against Whale Branch for the third matchup this season? Yes, sir. Well, I've seen everything that I've already known that my boys can do. They work hard. I'm in a timeout from the summertime to now. So I wasn't really surprised at what they did. I was more proud of what they did. These young men work very hard. We've had a lot of adversity this year. So just to see them come out on a game that put us from number three to now number two, which means we get the home court advantage in the playoffs, a coach can ask for more from these boys. The entire team did well. These boys being the leaders made me very proud. Talk about where this team has grown from last year seeing them against Whale Branch to where they are tonight one year later. We saw a great matchup last year with you guys, too. Yes, sir. Well, it was just good basketball. The Whale Branch team is always, you know, bringing the heat. They're pretty athletic. They're good boys. You got Talon, you got KJ, you got LeRon. They have a bunch of guys that really know how to play. So for a team like us to come and really compete, we actually beat them one time last year, but not to this magnitude. So just to see the way that we've came against adversities into their home on their senior night and play as well as we did, I think, again, I'm very proud of my team. Talk about Amari and Wilson real quick. Heck of a player. Uh, this kid right here, man, he, and the thing is, he's just a junior. The sky isn't even the limit for this kid, man. I told this kid over a year ago, man, all I need you to do, man, is just be you. Don't, don't let people tell you because you're the biggest kid, you got to drop 50. Be a Marion. We love you because you're a Marion. And that's what he's been doing, not just tonight, but for the last couple of games, he's just been being a Marion. He locks in, he leads this team, not just on the court, but when we're at school, he leads them as well. So this doesn't surprise me with him, man. As long as a Marion stays true to him, the sky's the limit for this kid. And Kevin's with him right now. Amarion, on behalf of Summit Services, congratulations. You are our MVP this evening. Thanks so much for having us in your house. Guys, congratulations on a huge win, 43-37 over Bridges Prep in the uh, – with Bridges Prep beating Whale Branch. Excuse me. Congrats on the win versus Whale Branch. Good luck in the playoffs. These are the number two seed Bridges Prep Buccaneers over Whale Branch, 43-37 tonight. For Kevin Libby, Jeremy Pope, Larry Jackamot, the rest of our great WHHI TV crew, I'm Marcus Walsh saying so long. Thanks for tuning in to the Summit Services Basketball Series. Guys, games of the week this season. We'll see you again soon, only on WHHI Sports TV. And until then, so long, everybody.